Alright, welcome back to Rockets Garage. You saw in the last video that we uh, fixed that door hinge and my dad put on that emblem. Today we are going to work on this LED strip here. And what we did for the side marker lights is we took a female end and a male end adapter from O'Reilly's, uh, soldered them up to the running lights and then plugged them in so that way when we take the headlights out or we uh, remove the bumpers to do whatever, uh, super easy to uh, disconnect and get started. So, uh, yeah, while I was looking for the connector somewhere in the car from O'Reilly's, I had forgot that I ordered a new shift boot. This shift boot has uh, red uh, stitching, so hopefully that will make that Hurst shifter look a lot nicer than it is. Oh yeah, I'll throw that on too. Bonk. All right, I got the the two parts what I'm talking about from O'Reilly's. There's only two wires coming out of the LED strips on the headlights, and they only had one two wire at O'Reilly's. Um, so I went ahead and bought the three wire, and what I'll do is I'll just either pull it out of the connector, I'll snip it off and uh, tape it up. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so we got the trusty dusty soldering tool here. We got the snips I lost the springs to. We got the two LED wires that come from the light. And then we got our male female plug so what I'm gonna do is pop this open without cutting my fingers off and I'm going to put let's see the factory has it where this male end is on the car side so I'm gonna put the female end on the headlight side I'm going to red to red black to black easy as that Get to work. Surprised my car alarm didn't go off. What a beast. He said it's pushing over a thousand wheel horsepower. <laughs> Thank you. 
soldered up on the headlight side. I went ahead and plugged them together. So I'm gonna go turn the headlight on and hopefully it'll go and look really awesome. Yes, sir, there it is. That's awesome. It's an awesome running light. And so it's this light and this side marker light that's uh, on when the running lights are on. Then I'll hit the headlights. Well, actually, they're not plugged in. So, yeah, there we go. Boom. Easy as that. All right, I switched my GoPro here because my, uh, my main camera died on me. I had it plugged in the wall, but... It, it died and I missed uh, I wrapped it all up put some uh, some loom on it got it all finished up so uh, about ready to throw this uh, light back together Oop, drop my and then uh, throw the light in so let's see how that looks all right all right dad I got one headlight put up mm -hmm. let's see uh, turn that bad boy on all right Got it tucked away all nicely. Here we go. Boom. Oh, look at that. Looks like Iron Man. <laughs> Turned out really, really good. Woo! Next is uh Woo! driver's side. <laughs> set uh, pigtail all wired up got it wrapped up in loom and some black electric tape the third wire that doesn't do anything I just wrap, wrapped it around there so I'm gonna take the headlight plug it in slide it in and see if it uh see if it'll light up put you right here for a second maybe <sighs> Headlight. Oh, I forgot to install the battery. BRB. Alright, I got the headlights in here. Plugged her in, so hopefully, when I pull the running lights, the little Iron Man will, ah, will come on. Oh, let's go. Works good, exactly how it should. Show you the quick disconnect. So it just looks like uh, a factory quick disconnect. So now we can remove the headlight. Got both of them on there. Easy day. All right, got the hood shut and the lights back in. You mind uh, pulling that switch there? Okay. Here we go. Here it comes, ready, one, two, three. Oh, perfect, yeah, that looks sick. It looks way better than it used to. So we got the new side marker lights, the new LED running lights, the new yellow fog lights. Uh, installed with uh, some soldering and a quick disconnect. I think that really completes the look. So before we end this video, we got one more thing inside. He's touching up the paint with a paint pen. But we got that shifter boot from uh, earlier in the video. And then we're going to hammer that one out and be finished. Sweet. So my dad popped this off. And then you unplug the cigarette lighter and then what you do is you take a, a heat gun and melt off those little tabs pop the stainless steel ring off put the new one in melt some tabs back on there easy day well what would be a car project without realizing I don't have a heat gun here um, so took a five minute breather and we're gonna go head to the the Harbor Freight. This is uh, Miko. His name is uh, an acronym. See if you guys can figure it out. But uh, yeah, he's in charge and he told me to take a five minute break as you can tell. And we're going to head and get a uh, heat gun get back on that Mustang. So, got a test drive in the, the Mustang to run and get some parts. 
peep the, the big hole we created in the dash. <laughs> it still looks good. It still looks good. It's running good. And uh, once we get back to Harbor Freight, flip this all back. Well, we're just leaving the home to pot instead of the Harbor Freight, and we got a heat gun. $26. Not only did we get the heat gun, but we also got a Christmas sale special. Uh, DeWalt ratchet uh, with a battery and a bag for a good price so and a charger and a charger man $300 value for what was it 156 or something no 127 yeah it was a good value yeah it was stopped at the VP racing fuel Mustang is looking good it is looking really really clean I have not even washed it yet it's just been rained on that's about it full tour around it's drinking up expensive 91 octane and then we went inside and got an octane booster for this beautiful car okay it appears we are recording well next function we're gonna do this is the uh, five-speed gear shifter boot. It's exquisitely engineered. Uh, this boot is made of leather, or it's either pleather or leather. That's 20 years old, time for a new one. And it doesn't have mechanical fasteners. What it has is uh, mul uh, melted plastics that, that hold it in place. So you use a actual heat gun, get it really soft and pliable and, and, and squish them up so that they can be pulled out. Or not pulled out, but the, the frame of this, this frame here can be pulled out. I already got this one started with a lighter. And, and then... Okay, I guess we're recording again. I don't know what happened, but it just turned off. All right. So anyhow, right here, you can see where I've already squished this one up. It can be a little better though. So, $27 heat gun from Home Depot. Here we go. That thing gets hot so fast.
All right, so you got the, the factory staples back in after you drill the tiny little hole, put them back in there. Yes. And now what are you putting in there? It's this 3M high strength number 90 contact adhesive. And I'm, I sprayed it into a cup, actually a lid of a soft drink. Then I'm using two uh, Q-tips to go around and paint this. And then I'll let it set up for quite some time and I'll stick it all together. Nice. We got the heat gun melting the little plastic tabs, tabs push them down with a screwdriver and then they uh, go back just like OEM. Mm -hmm. Cool off. Or like solder and plastic. There's one right here. Another one right there. All right, so you finished up with the heat gun and pushing the little plastic tabs over the big reveal. There it is. A new boot matching red threads. Turned out really good. Looks OEM. It does. Red matches the red, goes all the way down. Looks good. It's all the gears I can hit right now without putting the clutch in. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Well, anything to say about your uh, new shifter knob before you end it for the night? It's cherry. Cherry red. So the name of this Mustang project is uh, Cherry. And she's a wild cherry, so. So she's red and she's non-blemished. Yeah, it's looking good. And we got one more thing to do on this Mustang, and that is the suspension on all four wheels. So sweet. Catch you guys later. Peace. Yeah.